So we're going to be looking at some pictures here about yep. some roofs that were done, I guess some DIY pictures, and we're going to make some comments on it. Yep. Uh, Stanley, he is a professional roofer, works with Atlas, yep. and uh, he's here to help me give advice to anybody out there. Now, when it comes to, here's one roof here. Holy crap in that. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. So did that to their own home. <laughs> uh, you know what? It might have been better just to get a tarp and put a tarp over the roof of the house and tack it down rather than try to stop water from coming down. You can see in the valley there, uh, if you look directly at it, that's exactly where water's going to run down and under those shingles. So that tells me they uh, need to hire a professional. Absolutely. And you can see that from the road. And I don't think that's the look they, uh, that they would really like if they got to choose that. The, you know, So that DIY project is wrong for a lot of reasons. And it just looks bad. A whole new meaning to curb appeal. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's really different there. That looks like a blanket that was put across the roof. <laughs> and what that means is every single shingle in that neighborhood and probably the whole roof was not nailed properly. Yeah. When grafted, blew it up like a blanket and put it back down again. Uh, the good news is you can probably pull that out and stretch it, but if the wind comes up again, you're in big trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I think the good news is the sealant worked, right? So from a manufacturer perspective, we love to see the sealant work, but no nails, no bueno. <laughs> and we see at the bottom, we see that reverse row of shingle at the bottom, but no tar paper at a bare minimum. Yeah. You know me, I like a uh, gray size and water shield or anything like that is and do the whole roof. That way it's watertight before you even shingle it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, things that you shouldn't do. This is not so bad that uh, we are not, or we are doing shingles incorrectly. Here's how you should not, for safety purposes, get up to the peak of the roof. That is about one of the more dangerous things I've ever seen. I was a high-rise window cleaner many, many years ago, and that is a big no-no because mm -hmm. I tell you, one time I was on a roof and I was doing some painting on a dormer and I thought the peak was really, there was too much of a peak. I didn't have a safety tie off. I was probably around 19 at the time. And I thought, I can do this. I can do this. I slipped mm. and down the roof I went and I kept sliding. I kept going to the edge and I'm thinking, I'm on the second story here. Yeah. There's a driveway where I'm about to land. Yeah. I got to the edge, saw a stink pipe grabbed it and hung over the edge of that house and held yeah. on by this thing by the vent stack. Yeah. I just said, I will never do that again. What a big mistake. And that's a mistake happening. Yeah. And it looks like they may be some DIYers up there just sort of making it work. But if you are hiring a professional, make sure you ask them about their safety protocols and make sure they're tied in on your roof. Because the worst thing you could have happen is have a contractor up there falling off your roof doing something like that. Yeah, because they can sue you. That's it's yeah. your property, right? No matter what, it could become a lawsuit. It's, you got it. It's their stupidity, but you can be sued and things can happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to end up costing more than you should. So if you do hire a pro, make sure they don't work like that. Okay, that's a different ladder standoff. Uh, uh, my goodness, the things that I see. I give them an don't A. Ever what they're doing is making an A-frame for the roof and resting their step ladder up against it. And there's nothing really tying in that uh, A-frame ladder or adjustable ladder. Oh, there's a guy on top of it I just noticed standing on it. Yeah. That's just a big foolish mistake and, again, an accident waiting to happen. It's yeah. just not a smart thing. On slippery yeah. time, too. Whew. We get to see more and more. Uh, <laughs> looks like they did an upside-down ridge cap in the valley. Yeah. The valley must go under the shingles, not over top of the shingles. This was probably a quick repair uh, based on what I'm seeing with the repair on top. Also, all the rain lines are incorrect because they made it as one rain line yeah. rather than the staggered rain line. So this is just the roof that's going to flood over and over again. I take it that you see this all the time. We do. We see these all the time. And, uh, you know, uh, it's amazing what, uh, you know, reading the installation instructions can do to help. But I think when you're sort of just trying to patch that roof up, sometimes you, you know, these things happen, but it definitely causes leaks. And if you got water coming in your home, you are not a happy camper. So, uh, you know, these things are going to lead to lots of problems inside the home.